prevention is the cornerstone of modern dentistry. Having the ability to give effective oral hygiene instructions is something that all dentists should be more than capable of doing. However, in practice we are often rushed for time and it's not uncommon for us to miss this out altogether. If you're rushing to get on with treatment, it's important to remember that good oral hygiene will help ensure your work lasts, so it's well worth doing. I'm going to be going through a few steps which will hopefully help the process become more efficient and effective. Make sure you orientate your patient before you start talking about the teeth, gums and various angulations of the brush. Many patients are ignorant of the oral anatomy and have an inadequate spatial sense. So begin by introducing the basic anatomy of the oral tissues. The teeth in gingivae can be visualized using a hand mirror or perhaps even an intraoral camera for more detail. Then move on to briefly mention the ideology of periodontal disease and caries. Ensure that they are aware of the importance of good oral hygiene. Using a plaque disclosing tablet can be incredibly powerful. Tablets are chewed thoroughly, all teeth should be licked, then the solution swished and spat out, followed by a gentle water rinse. Alternatively, a plaque disclosing solution can be used which the dentist applies. Show the stained plaque to the patient with a hand mirror, indicating the areas they were missed. If you're really keen, you can even record a plaque score, which you can then reassess again later. You should always ask your patient to demonstrate their current oral hygiene habits. It's great if you can make sure your patient brings their oral hygiene aids to the appointment so they can actually show you in their mouth. This allows you to adapt their technique to make it more effective and it's far more powerful than using a model. One of the most common problems includes patients missing the lingual or palatal areas. If this is the case, it might be an idea to advise a patient to clean these areas first. If you can see that the patient is being far too aggressive when brushing, then perhaps advise a pen grip to hold the toothbrush and emphasize brushing with the wrist rather than using the elbow or the shoulder. It's important that you know what's out there in the current market. There are then generally three types of brushes. Manual, sonic, and oscillating rotating brushes. There are also lots of different types of toothpaste. These are some examples, but there are lots and lots on the market. Interdental aids, such as teepee brushes and floss, and lots of other adjuncts, such as mouthwash, available. Try and find out about these products, their properties, and how they work. It's important to remember that you should give advice according to what is most appropriate for your patient, their oral condition, and their circumstances. Keep it simple, and they're more likely to comply. Finally, regular reinforcement is essential.